But as we start going up the block and we're getting closer and closer, he says, did you see that? And I said, I thought I saw smoke. He goes, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, the street's filled with smoke and then it blows away. Smoke and it <coughs> blows away. And we pull up. And when we first got there, it was only fire out of maybe four windows on the first floor behind the, the wood there. Pulls over, gets on the radio, transmits to 1075, which is a working fire. Um, he says, we're going to stay here. We're not going to the bricks coming off the building. He goes, okay. So then I'm starting to get dressed. I grip, jump on my pocket, take a picture, take two or three pictures. Now it's looking like this. Then he turns to me and says, uh, transmit a second alarm. I never got to do that before. How cool is that? And I walk over and say, all right. <clears throat> Rescue one in Manhattan. <laughs> you got to do your best FM voice, right? You can't <laughs> <laughs> so we transmit a second alarm. He then transmits a third alarm. Nobody's there yet. Everybody is at that other fire. But meanwhile, the building across the street, all the window frames are igniting. The building behind it, the whole top floor is starting to light off. And we're all by ourselves. There's nobody there. So we end up, some of us going in this building, some of us going in that building. And this thing finally burned itself to the ground. But Exactly at the same time this was happening, up in the Bronx, Rescue 3 is making a rope rescue with Mickey Convoy getting lowered down with similar problems in a big uh, high-rise building, a multiple dwelling, and he makes a rescue and saves a lady there. So we were all kind of busy that day.